From this uh, segment, we'll start with the pumping organ, that is the heart. And before we take up the human heart, its structure and functioning, we'll understand uh, the heart of lower vertebrates also, its structure and the function that it performs. Now, before we take up the structure, we need to understand few terms. The heart is made up of chambers or compartments. And these chambers are atria or which are also known as auricles. And these atria or auricles are always the receiving compartments. Receiving chambers. That means these are the chambers which are going to receive the blood. So this is one. Second, the ventricles. These ventricles are always the pumping compartments. Pumping compartments or chambers. Again, so auricles or atria are going to receive the blood. Ventricles are going to pump the blood. So there are atria and ventricles. These two compartments, that is auricles and ventricles, are known as the main chambers or true chambers. Ventricles and auricles are known as true chambers. Or primary chambers. That means there are some compartments or structures which are going to help or they are known as the accessory compartments. So let us talk about those accessory. There are other compartments like or other structures like sinus venosus, conus arteriosus, truncus arteriosus, and bulbus arteriosus. These are all accessory compartments. So these four, they are accessory compartments. That means in heart of an organism, there would be receiving chambers, that is auricles. There would be pumping chambers, that is ventricle. And there may be some accessory chambers. So four names are there. And once we start uh, taking the structure of various uh, animals and their hearts, then we would understand that in lower vertebrates, these accessory chambers exist. And as evolution took place, the main function is taken over by auricles and ventricles only. And these accessory chambers, they are lost. So we are starting with the heart of fishes. Heart of fishes. Heart of fishes has two primary chambers and two accessory chambers. Two primary, that is auricles and ventricles and two accessory. That is sinus venosus and conus arteriosus. Let us draw the diagram of heart. The compartment which is receiving the blood is the auricle, this is auricle, it receives the blood, but the blood is not directly coming into the auricle, it first comes into an accessory compartment and then from here the blood enters into the auricle. So this compartment, the first one which we have drawn here is sinus venosus, sinus venosus. So, in case of fishes, the blood is first taken by an accessory chamber, that is sinus venosus. Then the blood comes into the auricles. So, now the blood is coming into the auricles here. And we said these are the receiving chambers. Now, from auricles, the blood is pumped into the next compartment, that is the ventricle. So, this compartment is ventricle 
and from ventricle the blood will be pumped out and straight away it is not going to go into the main vessel which we call aorta it goes into a tubular structure this tubular part which is known as conus arteriosus and then this conus arteriosus opens into what is known as the aorta so this is the blood vessel which is going to take it away so this is going to be aorta so as we said in case of fishes there are two primary chambers that is auricles and ventricles two accessory chambers that is sinus venosus and conus arteriosus now to understand the working of this what is happening is the blood which is coming in in this accessory compartment is deoxygenated blood this deoxygenated blood from here comes into the auricle from auricle it goes into the ventricle from ventricle it is pumped into conus arteriosus and then into aorta that means the blood which is coming into the heart is only deoxygenated blood so the heart which receives only deoxygenated blood is known as branchial heart or venous heart heart of fishes receives only deoxygenated blood and such type of heart is known as such heart is termed as branchial heart branchial heart or venous heart that means in case of fishes what we now know that there are two primary chambers two accessory chambers and they have branchial heart then how is the circulation because we want to talk about one more term that is single circulation heart but before that let us understand the path in which this single circulation takes place this is called single circulation path the way in which this blood is going to flow in the body of the fishes so let us start from the receiving thing sinus venosus receives the blood then it goes to the auricles this compartment receiving from auricles it comes into the ventricle from ventricle it comes into the next accessory chamber that is conus arteriosus from conus arteriosus it is taken by aorta and aorta is going to take this deoxygenated blood to the gills so now it comes to gills the blood which is coming here through this part is deoxygenated as we have seen here so blood entering sinus venosus is deoxygenated and this is the path it follows now it has been sent to gills where gaseous exchange takes place and now the blood which is coming from the gills is oxygenated and oxygenated blood from the gills is again brought back to sorry it is sent to the organs where the organs are going to use the oxygen organs they use oxygen and they would uh, release carbon dioxide into the blood and this deoxygenated blood from the organs would come into sinus venosus deoxygenated blood from the organs so the path is heart receives deoxygenated blood 
sinus venosus, auricles, then ventricles, conus arteriosus, aorta and gills. Here oxygenation will take place. So from gills the oxygenated blood is supplied to the organs. Organs use this oxygen, release carbon dioxide. That means now the blood which is coming from the organs is again deoxygenated. And that deoxygenated blood comes back into this accessory chamber that is sinus venosus. So this is the path which is uh, seen in case of fissures for circulation. And why are we calling it single circulation heart? The reason is the term single circulation heart is given to the heart when blood supplied to an organ passes through the heart only once. This will be more clear when we talk of double circulation heart in other uh, organisms like amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. But definition is normally in our case before the blood is supplied to any organ it passes through the heart two times. That would be called double circulation. So single circulation would be before the blood is supplied to any organ it is passing through the heart only once that is here so it comes to the organ again goes to the heart comes back to the organ so it is going to the heart only once before it is being supplied to any organ such a circulation is known as single circulation so if we have to write the definition in short what would be single circulation when blood before being supplied to an organ goes through heart only once. That is single circulation. In our case, before the blood reaches one organ, it is going through the heart two times. That circulation is known as double circulation. So what we have seen, heart, receiving compartment, pumping compartment, auricles, ventricles. These are the primary chambers and there are accessory chambers. In fishes, both the primary chambers and both accessory chambers are present and the circulation is a single circulation and such type of heart which is receiving only deoxygenated blood is known as branchial heart or venous heart. Now the next evolved uh, group is of amphibians and then reptiles. So in the next uh, segment we will talk about the heart of amphibians and reptiles.